Welcome to 3D Flow Academy. This episode is focused on external point clouds integration within Zephyr, which means that this tutorial is targeted to 3D of Zephyr Pro and Aerial only. This tutorial can be easily adapted to any point cloud generated by an external source. A workspace element that is free to move within the workspace is defined as unstructured. All external elements imported in Zephyr are initially unstructured. Notice how I move this element independently from the workspace cameras, while I cannot move any photogrammetry generated element without also moving all other structured items. The following workflow is known as registration. Point cloud registration is the process of finding a spatial transformation that aligns two or more point clouds and can be done between all unstructured elements or between a structured and an unstructured element. Step 1. Rough alignment. In this case, we have different laser scans of the subject which are not in the same reference system. We must either complete the cloud registration in the software that has been provided by the laser scan manufacturer, or we can do it directly in Zephyr. Use the gizmo tool and simply rotate and translate all the different scans so that they are roughly aligned together. Step 2. Fine alignment. After the rough alignment has been completed, simply follow the steps in the multi-SCP wizard from the registration tool. Pairings will be calculated automatically and very rarely require human intervention. You may set research and stop parameters manually if you wish, or use the full automated algorithm offered by Zephyr. Save the workspace and proceed to photogrammetry processing. Step 3. Photogrammetry processing. Process your photos like you normally would and get a dense point cloud. Since laser scan data is usually already in the desired scale, we then move this newly generated workspace into the reference system of the previously generated workspace. Step 4. Cloud to cloud registration. This step is extremely similar to step 1. Simply drag and drop the photogrammetry workspace zap file into the laser scan workspace and merge the two workspaces together when prompt. Since the two clouds will have a different scale factor, we will need to roughly scale the photogrammetry workspace as well. Similarly, we need the final alignment step, cloud to cloud registration, to enable the scale factor. Don't forget to check Enable Rescale in the Cloud to Cloud registration window. Step 5. Structuring. Once the registration has been completed, the unstructured element can be now made structured. Once the two projects are in the same reference system, we simply need to right click the unstructured element and select Make Structured. Once the element has been structured, it can be manipulated by Zephyr using camera information. This means that our laser scan point cloud can be treated like any other point cloud, including mesh, texture generation, or generally speaking, interaction with any other tool offered by Zephyr. As an alternative for the rough alignment step, you can also use control points rather than the gizmo. You will need at least three control points. In this example, I am picking three easily recognizable control points directly on the laser scan cloud. Simply pick the same three control points in the photogrammetry workspace and merge the two workspaces together via control points. You may also do an additional rough alignment step with the gizmo if you wish. Don't forget to also do the final alignment step. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join our 3D Flow Academy Facebook group to vote for the next video tutorial.